What's up, everybody? It's Coach Kev. Jason Whitlock is back at it again. This might be one of the most outlandish takes that he has ever made. This time, he's talking about Bronny James, LeBron James' son, who has been drafted by the L.A. Lakers. Jason Whitlock said, and I quote, Bronny James looked out of place at his summer league debut. LeBron James has turned his son into the make-a-wish kid, and everybody in the media is going to play along. This might be one of the most out-of-the-world takes that Jason Whitlock has ever had. Now, I know, Bronny James, all eyes are on you, but to call him a make-a-wish kid, I know what Jason's about to say in this video is going to be nothing short of straight disrespectful. Hey, Jason Whitlock, it's on you. This isn't a great prospect. He looked out of place. He got his ankles broken twice. This isn't LeVar Ball's kid. I guarantee you, who's the, LiAngelo, the, the, the ball kid that didn't make it to the NBA? He would make short work of Bronny James. <laughs> that, that, remember how LeVar wanted to play Michael Jordan? I would love for LiAngelo Ball, the third ball brother, the one that didn't make it to the NBA, I'd love for he and Bronny James to play one-on-one. -on -one. All of my money is on LiAngelo Ball, and he probably, well, maybe he's playing overseas. I, I don't know. LiAngelo Ball versus Bronny James. <laughs> Jason Whitlock never seems to amaze. <laughs> you got to love this guy, man. But this... <laughs> I can't. LeBron James has turned his son into the Make a Wish kid. And everybody in the media is going to play along. Everybody is going. A Make a Wish kid is wild. Make a Wish Foundation. <laughs> so he just made him into a spectacle. Like, I understand. If you don't think Bronny should have made the NBA, he got to work for it, whatever to take, but a make-a-wish kid. So he's just getting handouts is what Whitlock is saying. All right, I got you, Whitlock. I got you. Like the, not everybody, because we're not. And some there are a handful of people calling this out. But you've turned your son into the make-a-wish kid. Someone did th that picture of Bronny at the press conference. Someone did a, a great photo, because the other kid, the white dude, is... Uh, Dalton Connect from Tennessee. That was the Lakers' first round draft pick. And someone showed a picture of how they were dressed at that press conference. And Dalton Connect's got a nice pair of slacks on, button up shirt. LeBron's kids got on jeans, uh, a hoodie, tennis shoes, sunglasses, or uh, not sunglasses, but whatever. So now the way he dresses. It's disrespectful. So Bronny James is not a good player because he doesn't dress up in slacks and a button-up. Back to the LiAngelo Ball. So LiAngelo Ball is the third ball brother, so he didn't make it to the – well, he did make it to the NBA, but he didn't really have any type of real NBA career. LaMelo Ball and Lonzo Ball had – well, actually, Lonzo Ball has been hurt, but they made it to the NBA and had better careers. So he's saying somebody who's playing overseas and didn't really have an NBA career can beat – Bronny James one-on-one. -on -one. And now he's saying that Bronny James is not dressed to impress, and that's why he's a make-a-wish kid. You got to love this guy, man. This guy, Jason Whitlock, you got to love him. Hey, go. Uh, one guy showed up like uh, he had earned the job, and another guy showed up like his dad got him the job. You can just see it in how they present themselves. Hey, my dad got me this job. I can show up dressed however I want. Hey, I earned this job. Let me make a good first impression at this press conference. Let me put on a pair of slacks and a dress shirt. Look nice, respectable. And I know it's basketball, and I know that uh, Palinka, I think, there is dressed casually. But, again, when you're the rookie, there's a way you show up to dress when you're not 
there because of nepotism, because your dad is the actual boss. So that's the big situation. Everybody is saying that Bronny James is in the NBA because of nepotism, because his dad is LeBron James. That's the only reason that he's in the league. He doesn't deserve to be in the NBA. If it was any other person's kid, Mr. No Name's kid, with the stat line he had in college and the way he played and all that stuff, he would have never sniffed the NBA is what a lot of people are saying. So do you agree with that? Do you feel like Bronny James has gotten a handout? Do you feel like he does not deserve to be in the NBA? Do you feel like he needs to earn his own way in the NBA? Do you feel like he needs to be given a chance to see if he can play in the NBA? Or do you feel like there is no reason why he should be playing in the NBA right now? Let me know all your thoughts on Bronny James in the comments below. For me, all I know is LeBron James is a powerful person. He has a lot of power, he has a lot of control, and he can dictate a lot of things. Now, am I saying that he got his son into the league? Maybe I am. Am I saying that Bronny James does not deserve to be in the NBA? No, I'm not. I believe he deserves the opportunity to show if he can play with other NBA players. And if he can, we applaud him and we applaud his career and he keeps trying to get better and better. But if he falls short, I don't want to see handouts. I don't want to see third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh chances for him. I want him to be treated like all the other players that got to the NBA, got their chance, but was not successful. So that's my thoughts on Bronny James. But when it comes to being a Make-A-Wish and all this crazy stuff that Jason Whitlock is saying, I do not agree with that. A Make-A-Wish kid is wow crazy. That's the kid that you go to like is on the deathbed. You go and he, he asks for like a celebrity or somebody to come to him and they like, it's like have one last hurrah good time. That That's crazy for Jason Whitlock to say that. I do not agree with that take as at all. But I do understand the nepotism point and the point of Maybe Bronny getting a little hand-me-down from his father, LeBron James. Like I said, let me know all your thoughts in the comments below when it comes to Bronny James. Till next time, this is Coach Kev, and I'm out of here. Peace.